MLB Bro presents Black in the Day. America is the land of opportunities and second chances, which is how this MLB All-Star cashed in big as his career started in prison. Ron LaFleur discovered baseball while he was incarcerated in 1971 for armed robbery while serving a three and a half year bid in Jackson State Prison as documented in the CBS original film One in a Million, The Ron LaFleur Story. Three years later, he was in the big leagues with the Detroit Tigers in 1974 as a 26 year old. He was recommended to Tigers manager Billy Martin who was tough in his own right. And after an impressive workout at Old Tiger Stadium, LaFleur was signed to a free agent contract in 1973 upon his release from prison. He joined the Clinton Pilots in the Midwest League under manager Jim Leland and was called up to the Tigers in 1974. LaFleur developed into an all-star center fielder for the Tigers in 1976 as he started the season with a 30-game hitting streak. Those numbers got him selected as a starter in the All-Star game where he got a leadoff hit. He won the league stolen base championship in 1978 and 1980, becoming the first player ever to wear the crown in both the American and National League. LaFleur is the perfect example of the quote, it's not how you start, by how you finish. He didn't let his past dictate his future. And like the great philosopher Kevin Garnett once said, Anything's possible. Anything's possible! MLBbro.com, covering black and brown major leagues.